Hey guys, Anthony here. So Firefox 47 was released on June 7, 2016 and it's time for a quick review. So this update comes with over 3300 bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities. Most of the updates have happened in the back end, so no new features to report but a few changes. In terms of Firefox extension signing, Mozilla has once again pushed the removal of the Firefox preference to possibly Firefox 48. Which means that if you still have disabled Firefox add-ons, you will be able to use the manual override. You can check this tutorial on how to enable your disabled Firefox add-ons. The Firefox Click to Activate plugin whitelist has been removed as a security and stability measure. So back in 2014, Mozilla had implemented a whitelist for approved plugins. Essentially, plugins that were not whitelisted were set to click to play which automatically blocked the execution of plugins giving more control to users. So now this whitelist has been completely removed which means that all plugins with some exceptions will be set to click to play. The browser session restore Firefox preference value has now been set to true by default and this essentially limits tabs from loading simultaneously on startup thereby improving browser load time. You will find a new About Performance page which helps check the performance of add-ons as well as the performance of open tabs. Another change is that embedded YouTube videos will now play using HTML5 video if Flash is not installed. And finally, Mozilla has added support for Google Widewine CDM which is Content Decryption Module. Essentially, it enables playback of HTML5 video content that requires DRM or Digital Rights Management. So back in 2015, Mozilla had launched with Adobe's Primetime CDM and now Google Widewine has been added. If you're interested, you can read more about it at Mozilla's blog. You'll find the link in the description section. So those were pretty much notable changes worth reporting in Firefox 47. You can check the full list of changes in the release notes. And again, I'll leave a link in the description section. And before I wrap up, let me share the results of the BrowserMark benchmark test that I ran on Firefox 47 Google Chrome 51. First of all, BaseMark has come up with a new benchmarking tool called BaseMark Web 3.0. And these were the results Firefox 47 compared to Google Chrome 51. Overall, as usual, Google Chrome continues to outperform Firefox based on the results. So the tests and the scores look a bit different, and I hope to dig a little deeper into the comparison. Well, that's about it. Feel free to check my Firefox reviews and tutorials on my YouTube channel. And if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching.